Hi, sometimes the possibility to uh, compute the planar section of the model can be very useful. Uh, this is quite standard uh, when you're dealing with uh, um, architectural models, but it can be useful as well for other types of objects. So, in MeshLab we have this filter which is called Compute Planar Section, which is quite straightforward to be used. And it uh, is able to, um, not only to show the section, but also to be able to save it as data. So the filter is quite easy to be used. Essentially, you have to indicate the direction of the perpendicular direction with, with respect to the plane that you want to use as a, uh, a section, and then the cross-plane offset. So in order to be able to easily define this uh, plane, it's quite important that your model is well aligned with respect to the reference system. So, for example, this is a nice case where we have essentially the y-axis, which is uh, related to the height of the model. So, first of all, for example, you can use the manipulator tool or any other feature in MeshLab that gives you the possibility to kind of align this uh, uh, object with respect to the reference system. Another thing that can be useful, for example, is also to uh, enable the quoted box that gives you some information about the, the size of the object. So. For example, we would like to like cut the um, the object uh, uh, by using the y axis as a reference, and then we can also define the height where this uh, cut will. For example, you can write like something like 50, and after that, when you click apply, you get a new model that is nothing but a polyline that is showing you the section calculated on the model, again following the y-axis at the height of 50. So if we switch back to the, the object, we can, for example, uh, create a, another section at uh, 8 200. And again, we uh, will have another section. So now we have two sections at two different height following the direction of the y-axis you can decide which axis is your reference one you can also put a custom axis by setting it by hand or getting the direction or other information this can be a bit more tricky but uh, it can be done and another thing that you can do switching back to yours is to for example now we can try to cut following the x-axis uh, we can use the origin as a reference you can also, uh, if you want, create a, a, a section which is a, a surface. So not only the polyline of the section, but also a closed surface uh, field uh, section. So if I click apply on this, what you end up with is a, a double section. The first one is just the, the polyline, while in the, the second layer which is created is also uh, field surface clearly the surface can be triangulated only if it's a closed one so in this case I cut the object in this direction and only part of the section was a closed line so only the part which was closed has been filled while the others cannot be filled okay. so all these new layers that have been created can be saved and loaded in a second stage. So you can make a quite strong documentation also because the label which is uh, assigned to each of the section already tells you some information about the section itself. So it's telling you, for example, this one that's been done following the Y axis at the age of 50. So you get some information about the sectioning of your object in a quite easy way. Be careful that uh, like uh, most of the filters that work on only one of the layers, you will calculate the section on the currently selected layers. So one usual error is to like to select one of the section and call the sectioning on this new layer instead of on the original one. And this will end up usually with the, um, 
layers with no information or which, with strange information. So be careful about that. Anyway, this gives you some information that can be saved and loaded, loaded in a second stage. And uh, you can use it also for a visualization, like uh, showing all the, the sections together and uh, trying to get more information uh, about the model starting from that. Thank you.